two, three, fuck it. Good afternoon everyone, it's Garrett and today I'm going to give you guys a new Twitter header tutorial or YouTube banner, whatever you'd like, on a very cool kind of electrified techie style. So right here on the screen is exactly what we're going to be making. It's very easy to do and you guys can take it your own route using your own colors, your own text and stuff like that. I just made my logo straight up in the middle so you guys can see what's going on. Um, before the video even gets started, if you guys do want to go ahead and make my new rebrand for my, you know, channel and stuff like that, I'm going to be leaving my logo in the description below. You guys can make me, you know, YouTube banners, Twitter headers, intros, whatever you like, and uh, you can submit them to the top five, you can email me, you can hit me up on Twitter, whatever you like, and uh, if I decide to use yours, I'm actually going to be paying out people that make stuff. So it's a good way to make money, it's a good way to have fun and enter my top five. So let's get right into the tutorial and basically what we're going to be using today is the pack called Artemis V2 by Darian. Really awesome pack. This will be in the description. You guys can either, you know, buy it from him or there's going to be a link to this YouTube video where you guys can download it for free. I do not advise you guys doing that. However, you know, it is something that's been exposed for a while. But uh, basically breaking it down into what you want to do, you just want to open up your own document 1500 by 500, which is a standard Twitter header size. You guys can use your own YouTube banner templates, whatever you choose. And uh, black background is definitely ideal for this and you can either do one of two things right off the bat the first thing you can do is actually just drag in your logo straight into the Twitter header and the reason why we would do this first is so we can center it and then do everything around it which is you know a very weird way to approach it. a lot of people decide to put their logos in last but you know I like to size mine in the middle hold alt shift and just shrink it down a little bit and don't make it too big or too small I'm gonna make it a little bit big so you guys can see what's going on throughout the banner so uh, basically going right into the pack, once you guys download it and open it up, you want to go basically straight into the pack and go to the tab that says stock, stocks, excuse me. So once you click on this, you guys are going to get this kind of cool um, blue kind of particles effects. It's very cool Plexus style, which you guys can actually make on your own in After Effects. Um, another tutorial will be on that later on. But basically just drag that into your whole entire template. You guys can center the stock for that blue light straight in the middle. So you guys can have that blue light getting straight onto the... Um, the logo, um, zoom out so you guys can see what's going on. And basically, this is when you're going to start, you know, adding your own effects. So right into the pack, you don't want to just start taking stocks off that I click. You want to explore more. You want to click on stuff and see what they are, how they're used and stuff like that. So it'll definitely just take a couple minutes, you know, go through here, go through the stocks, click on a couple of things and uh, come back to this video. But we're going to be using these electrifying stocks, which are actually pretty cool. It's very um, kind of like a lightning effect. And uh, I'm going to use this one actually for my logo and I'm going to basically gonna shrink it up and make it so it looks like it's kind of wrapping around him. And I can use this, you know, sizing tool to make it bigger and smaller because it won't lose the quality that it usually does. And uh, we have this kind of cool ring around him that looks like the stock is actually flowing around him. Just something cool to do to your logo or your text, whatever you choose to put. Going back into the pack, there's more versions of these or actually more um, better ones. And you can click on them, you can go around and find the best ones you want to use. Um, personally, I like using this one just for using them for around the corners and stuff like that. So I can just drag this into the pack, you know, put it on like the side right here, hit control J and control T and just transform this over to the other side and basically put this on this side. So you can have this kind of cool kind of clashing effects, everything centered in the middle. It's kind of like a flip flop effect. So going into this again, you guys can basically start doing other things. Going back into the pack is where we're going to start exploring more, whether it be through using more electrifying stocks, um, using particles and stuff like that. There's a bunch of cool stocks in here. So what I'm going to go is actually go down a little bit and keep clicking through these. You know, if one of these sparks your imagination, definitely use it. Um, there's other stocks here. I'm going to actually grab this one, which is actually pretty cool. It's kind of a, um, a really nice light exposure stock. Just bring it in and we're going to put it in like the bottom right hand corner like this. Not all the way to the right, but kind of the bottom right. We're going to go to image, black and white. And we're actually going to go right here. We can mess with the whole entire kind of placement stuff. You can use linear dodge add. You can use screen. You can use lighten. Um, it's really up to you on what you want to put. I'm going to put mine on screen. And then I'm going to bring it down a little bit actually into the middle. Hit control J and then flip it 180 degrees. And they kind of put it on the same side so it's at the top so it kind of has that flowing effect to it so basically what we're doing now is we're going to start um exploring the pack like i've said before but we're going to start using um different you know effects different stocks 
particles are definitely something we want to include. Um, what they do is they actually kind of leave a nice, um, kind of, I guess, complement to the logo itself. You can put the hardness on a size zero and like the brush size in like a 200. And this kind of erase, you know, probably like 85% of everything, maybe 90. And just kind of leave these little stocks everywhere. Nothing too crazy, of course. You can go back in and grab smaller stocks and smaller particles, which is basically going to help, you know, make everything flow together better so you don't have one size of particles everywhere. Just like this, just taking my eraser and kind of flung it throughout the piece. So what you really are looking to do is create your own kind of effect with this. So of course there's a bunch of more particles, a bunch more things. So you can go down here, you guys can click on like the glitch effects, you guys can grab one of these. I like to use those for distortions and displacements, but we're not going to be going into that in this video. So right here is going to be a tab called lights. So click on that one and the third one down is going to be this kind of blue slash purple tint and just drag this in and we're going to put that straight to the top. And I'm not too much of a fan of doing this. However, it does work very nicely with the kind of logos in the background, the colors. And we can, of course, take the saturation up. The hue can be different. It depends on how you want to see as a person. And then we can just leave that right there. So, you know, you guys can keep clicking back and forth throughout the packs. You guys can use different stocks and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I like to go through this, you know, a couple more times and kind of look at things. Like, the stock right here, right, I would have missed before, but I kind of remember what it was. So, I'm going to click this and just drag it in. And I'm actually going to make it black and white. And then I can go right here, and I can start messing with different effects. So, I can use darken, color burn, lighten, you know, keep a hold of what you think looks nice. I like to color uh, dodge, but, of course, go through all those settings that they have. But uh, personally, color dodge is usually what I'm going to be using for this, and it really you know, helps bring out that kind of contrast and exposure throughout the stop, the stocks. So just place that somewhere, take your eraser, erase part of it, hit Control J, and then just drag this along to the other side. You know, you can put that on the bottom right, hit Control J again. You can bring this up, take out your eraser, and kind of erase a lot more stuff going on. So basically we have this going on and you guys can start adding more stuff. So you guys can click right here on the adjustment layers. You guys can go to exposure, gamma corrections, always something nice to mess with, whether it be lighting or darken. Offset, I like to use this um, just the same. And then of course the uh, exposure itself. So darker, brighter, whatever you choose. I'm gonna go with a little bit brighter, a 0.33. And uh, if you guys want, you guys can add your social media text on the side. I'm personally not gonna do this. And uh, now what you can do is start actually adding other stuff. So I'm just going to group this whole entire thing together, hitting control G. So I have everything layered up so I don't touch anything. Make a new layer, and then you're going to start messing with your brushes. So I'm going to miss and make a regular brush, you know, a size, probably like 200, 300 maybe. And just take it on black, and we're just going to click places, just like this. And then we're going to go to the kind of overlay. We're going to just lower the opacity a little bit. And then, of course, make another new layer. You can grab a white color and kind of laying up this lightning and then put this on either soft light, screen, whatever you think looks nice. If you guys don't like it, then you guys don't have to add it. Maybe even color dodge, not too much of that. But uh, basically keeping that the same, lowering the opacity a little bit. And uh, once we're kind of happy with the result that we got going on, all you have to do is take all these layers that you messed with, hit control J, excuse me, control G again, then control J, hit control E, and then control J again, which is basically duplicating the layers and then merging them together. Something that all designers should know is a lot of key commands, a lot of control commands. It's a lot easier to mess with. So we're gonna go right up to the filters actually and go to blur. We're gonna go to Gaussian blur. And of course we're gonna make a little bit of a Gaussian blur so we can take out a lot of blurness going around in like the corners and stuff like that. You can merge these layers together. Control G. So now really you can start messing with a lot of filters and stuff like that with noise, render, sharpen. Um, distort, you guys can use pixelate, stylize, sharpen, you guys can really use anything. Even if you go to the mosaic, you can leave a little bit of pixelation, you know, around the edges up here. Don't do this too much because it kind of really takes away from a lot of effects and stuff. And only be something that you do just as a little try effect. But uh, personally, this looks really good right now. Of course, you can mess with different colors, hitting that hue and saturation adjustment. Whether it be grabbing this and bringing it to a nice green, or a nice um, red. It's basically really up to you. You guys can take the saturation up, you guys can make it black and white. 
really, really, really cool to kind of mess around with this and see what you guys can make. So basically, that's going to be it for the tutorial. If you guys do, however, want to go purchase this, this will be for a dollar in my description. Of course, it's going to be a selfie link, and it's really cool, really awesome. You guys will get the whole entire pack, the whole entire thing going on. And now that you guys have this done, and you guys really want to see what you can do with it, you guys can apply this to your um, Twitter headers, your YouTube banners, your overlays your iphone wallpapers you guys can really make a crazy amount of things with this so definitely take this into consideration when you're making you know new styles and stuff like that it's really easy to do it's very you know glitchy techy and futuristic with that very lightning cool effect that's basically going to be it for the today's tutorial if you guys did enjoy this make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment let me know in the comment section below if you guys made your own you guys can link your print screens or your carbon maids your behances your portfolios hit me up on twitter with some ads if you guys made something you guys can mention me on it and i'll be really cool to check out of course, like I said before, if you guys do want to use my new logo inside of a new YouTube banner, Twitter header, um, intro, whatever you guys want to make, I will be giving away a couple dollars or a few dollars, probably like 10 or 20, to the first person that makes one that I'm going to be using. Intros will be rewarded a lot higher. However, um, hopefully some of you guys can make those. Other than that, guys, really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Make sure to leave that thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and make sure to keep on watching. Peace out.